Tonight, where is Donald Trump? Where is Donald Trump? At the end of 2020, our nation is facing multiple catastrophic crises and Donald Trump is AWOL. The Russian government is suspected of being behind one of the largest cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructure ever. Where is Donald Trump? More than 313,000 Americans have died from the coronavirus, including 11,000 people in the last week alone. Where is Donald Trump? Today, Mike Pence got a COVID vaccine on live television. It could have been a true educational moment for those who fear the vaccine, but it wasn't because the president didn't show. Where is Donald Trump? Millions of unemployed Americans are on the brink of economic ruin. And there's still no guarantee of a deal on a relief package. Where is Donald Trump? This is far worse than his usual laziness. His absence is unacceptable and unforgivable. He's missing in action when our nation is suffering. In the more than 50 tweets Trump sent this week, he said nothing about the hack or the relief package or the surge in COVID deaths. So where is Donald Trump? Trump. Well, he's focused on the one thing he cares about, the one thing he's obsessed with more than anything else, staying in power by undermining democracy. Pandemic? What pandemic? The Washington Post reports that states have been notified that their next shipment of Pfizer vaccines has been reduced. According to Pfizer, there are millions more doses sitting in our warehouse. But as of now, we have not received any shipment instructions for additional doses. Coronavirus cases are spiking. We have something to help stop reduce the spread. And the president and his lackeys are sitting on their hands. Trump has gutted the CDC and weakened the NIH so much that when a national vaccine distribution plan is now the difference between life or death, those hobbled agencies simply cannot rise to the occasion. And Trump won't help. He damaged those institutions in order to shore up his own power. But he now refuses to use that power for the common good. Because for Trump, it's always power for power's sake. And he's monomaniacal about it. He needs power. He wants to keep power. It doesn't matter what he does with it. That's what's behind his nonstop Twitter tirades, lying about election fraud. He doesn't want to let go. And his allies, his enablers, are all too willing to try and help him stay in power because it also helps them. That's a real quid pro quo. Trump pardons Michael Flynn and Michael Flynn then goes on crank news shows and calls for Trump to use the military to overturn the election result. Within the swing states, if he wanted to, he could take military capabilities and he could place them in those states and basically rerun an election in each of those states. I mean, it's not unprecedented. I mean, these people out there talking about martial law, it's like it's something that we've never done. We've done, the martial law has been instituted 64, 64 times. If Trump loses his power, Flynn loses his too, and vice versa, which is one of the president's clear motives for wanting to issue more pardons to loyal stooges. Axios reports Trump wants to go on a pardon spree and help the likes of convicted criminal and his former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. But what's worst of all is that not only does Trump not want to deal with the pandemic or the hacking or the economic catastrophe, he won't get out of the way and let the president elect and his team deal with it either. It's the worst of both worlds. Trump and co. keep interfering with the Biden transition process. Here's the latest example. Axios reports the Pentagon pushed back critical meetings by two weeks because of the holiday season. Trump officials tried to claim it was a joint decision. But the Biden team rejected that, telling reporters there was no mutually agreed upon holiday break. There have been pockets of recalcitrance and the DOD is one of them. Trump wants power. He won't share power. He won't give up power, but he won't use it to do anything useful or necessary. Never has a man fought harder to hold on to a job he has no interest in doing. He won't protect us from foreign countries trying to hack our critical infrastructure. He won't help us get much needed protection from a deadly virus. And he won't let the people who actually want to help take over. There's your answer. Where is Donald Trump? He's in the White House, torching the place, making sure that if he can't have the power of the presidency, 
No one else can either.